Hi and welcome to our video series on how to hire a virtual assistant. In this course we're going to look through the information you need on how and why you should be recruiting a virtual assistant. In the first video we'll be looking at what is it they can actually do, what types of tasks can a virtual assistant be carrying out for you to help you in your business and really why you should be consider using one. Then we're going to move on to looking at getting the tasks right from the beginning so when you start to find the tasks and decide and define them for your virtual assistant you want to make sure that you get it right from the beginning so you don't have to go back over the information with your virtual assistant when you first employ someone you don't have to go back over them over and over again to get it right you want to do it in a way that every time they do it first time every time the job's done how you want it to be done and we show you and discuss that in that video then we're going to look at actually going on to where you find these virtual assistants, how and where you find them, where you go about looking to get them into your business to begin with. And then we're going to cover the recruitment process and consider whether you should be looking local or overseas. And obviously that's going to depend on what is your requirements for your virtual assistant. But we'll look at the two different options of recruiting locally and also going overseas to find the person that you need in your business. We're going to touch on paying your virtual assistant, both from a point of view of what's the typical kind of rates that people are paying and for the types of virtual assistants they're getting, the work that they're doing, but also how you pay the people. So when you're actually signing someone up, how do you physically get the cash to them? What's the process you should follow at best in order to pay the people that you're employing? We're then going to look at actually the management of your virtual assistant. So assigning them tasks, things you might want to consider, and then software and services that are out there that will help you to better manage your virtual assistant and when you're assigning them tasks, get the job done better. And then finally, we're going to look at training them further, how to get more and go further with your virtual assistants, which ultimately means more money in the bank for your business, more turnover, more profitability and a better clarity of thought and mind for you and how you work moving forward. We've got over 75 minutes of content to get through, so we're going to move on to our first video, and that is what is it your virtual assistants can actually do to help you in your business, and I'll see you in that video.